But they are ordered. They are, yes, indeed. They're, they're ordered, they're paid for. All we're waiting for them is to get here and get the ground. What about, I mean, have you got some contractors going to work with you on it? Well, that, that's what I'm uh, oh, checking into now. Our next uh, guest is Mr. Sidney Walton, our Winfield City Marshal. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad y'all come up here today. I'm, I want to apologize. Uh, in your uh, particular packet there, uh, your quarterly report for last year and in your complete report for last year, uh, I was a little bit later getting it out because I had to get all my stuff for my audit. 2000, everything I've got right now sent off to, for the audit for the marshal's office. Uh, you can look over those things, what's going on uh, basically for the last quarter, October 1st through December 1st, and then your second page there would tell you pretty much your bang for your bucks that you've got from the marshal's office. Uh, I did not include everything. Um, we also worked um, three times Last year on VWI checkpoint, we worked. We did a checkpoint on Highway 84 West. We did a checkpoint on Highway 71 in St. Morris, and we did a checkpoint on Highway 167 North just before you get to Dotson. So we worked those checkpoints along with them. We worked from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. on those checkpoints, and got a few things done on that. <coughs> points and stuff. We've got some people off the road for it. Um, one thing that I'm, it's taken me, not just me, a bunch of other people, five years, uh, I've only wanted to change one speed limit in this town. And that's it from the recreation center. It took five years to get that speed limit changed. For some reason, the DOT called the translation, they won't change it. I thought, I thought that was kind of crazy when we turn off Main Street at 25 and we go to the recreation center and it's 40 for all the children. Now, you need to tell everybody it's 25 so you get on past the recreation center. You need to get that done. Hopefully, we save some child from getting hurt or maybe killed. You can tell everybody when ball season starts that they start watching because I'm going to be down. So, uh, the uh, third page is kind of some of the expenditures. You look and see what's spent. I'm just like y'all. My biggest expenditure in my office is fuel. Uh, thank the Lord it dropped down at the end of the year for us and actually saved me. It kept put me in a stage in the black that said, I more likely to have gone maybe more closer to the red. Uh, there's some add-on things in there that I, I didn't do. Uh, I think my total, uh, most of my expenses for my office was eight thousand nine hundred eighteen dollars fifty-one cents, and that includes I left <coughs> out phone lines. I paid eight hundred. I paid for my own phone lines over there. Uh, eight hundred one dollars ninety-four cents. Uh, and there was some equipment and stuff like that. We had to end up buying through the marshal's office. We're in better shape right now because we do have two automobiles. Uh, we have the, still the 2011 mm -hmm. Crown Fit that we got on a grant through the law enforcement grant. And we had to get this get that one. And then uh, last year, B.R. Durst left as the city mayor, asked me if I wanted his truck, and I said, I sure do. And so the city provided me that 2012 Dodge pickup truck that you see me running around. And therefore, we were able to get rid of the 2006 Crown Pick that had 153,000 miles on it. Uh, so we're in pretty good shape on, on vehicles right now. Um, most everything, uh, we're pretty much trying to get everything we got. We can use a little bit of help on different things. Uh, if you look over on the fourth page, it'll show you every dime that came into my office and every dime that went out. Uh, it's a little bit uh, 
They're $48,921.71 taken into the marshal's office. That sounds like a lot of money. Most of that money is garnishments. It goes in the office, but it goes right back out of it. And also, uh, we get to retain 6%. That's not a whole lot of money. Uh, also in there, we had to repo a car that's $5,250 in that money that was the, the sale of an automobile that we had to repo. But that money just comes from my office and then it goes right back out because we have to pay the stuff. And so uh, we also, like I said, we picked up $2,900 off the sale of that 2006 Crown Vic, which helped us. Uh, if you look, we ended up the year $3,028.41 in the good. Now my office picks up $250 a month from the Winfield City, or the City of Winfield, the City Council voted to give me that, so that's $3,000. If it wasn't for that $3,000, I'd end up $28.41 to do it, and that would, wouldn't have been that if, I'd, if fuel prices hadn't dropped. So we come out a little bit better than that. It looks like a lot of money, but if all of a sudden you lose a radar unit, you're looking at about an expenditure of anywhere from twenty-three, about $2,300 for just the radar unit alone. Uh, I sent two of them off and had to have them repaired. Um, so far, everything's working pretty good. Uh, to give you a little idea, like I said, what came in, 45000 893 30 went out. It looks like they're getting a little bit. Uh, kind of just, there were some questions. Some of the stuff in the packet, there were some questions that came up at the city council meeting uh, about my jurisdiction, where it went, what I did, what I did, you know, this, that, and that. So I put a few things added in there to, to show y'all a few things that's going in. Uh, the, the duties of the city marshal crowd from the Louisiana law. It shows where the marshal was. The, the marshals, they were asking about my term, why I was a six year term person. Uh, that changed in 1960. Uh, the Louisiana revised statute under chapter seven, uh, title 13, they changed the law back then and made the marshal's term as a six year term. Uh, and it's been a six-year term ever since. Um, they were questioning about some of my duties, but like I said, that one on page in that uh, I'm the executive <coughs> officer of the court. I execute the orders and mandates of the city court. The marshal makes arrest, preserves peace, and has the authority with his jurisdiction the same as a sheriff does. Uh, we do. We do traffic. We help with arrest. We do arrest. We serve all the papers out of the city court. We serve um, anything, like I said, we, do, we pick up garnishments, we do evictions, we do a little bit of everything. Uh, like I said, uh, we handled uh, last year, like I said, 192 complaints. We gave out 455 traffic warnings. We wrote 132 tickets. We served 209 civil papers. 458 criminal papers. We stayed a total of 93 days in court. Because nowadays I help on criminal court days, I worked at the judicial court beside the city court. Uh, about a year and a half ago, they came and asked me if I would help them on, with court. And I said, sure, on criminal court. I can't do every day because I've got other things I've got to do. But on criminal court days, uh, I'll come in and help you. And then we attended also five classes last year, different things uh, we still try to do. I work, try to, try to work hand in hand with the police department and the sheriff's office, whatever they need from us, we try to help them provide it. Um, have a really good working relationship with everybody. Uh, basic thing, I'm, okay, I'm here if you need me. We'll, We'll do whatever you need. Uh, I appreciate what you do. Sometime or another, I may come here to say, next year may not be turned out as good as this, uh, like I said. Um, but we're here. We'll do what we can do for you. Anybody got any questions? No, I just want to say thank you for what you do. I know your plate's loaded. 
for the budget you got. You find the old city marshal that I ever seen there and you pay. I tell you in the past it ain't worked that way. That's why I make the four hundred fifty bucks a month. <laughs> Do a good job. Well, I appreciate it. Well, I, I, like I said, anytime <coughs> y'all need me, just give me a holler. I'm in the book, or you flag me down, shit me up here. I'd like to stay for the rest of the meeting, but I've got another meeting at the church i got to go to. And I hate this point, Lord. <laughs> no, I did not.
Okay, we uh, do I have this motion? Okay, second. All right. And this is the a village of sites. All right. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. All right, next thing on the agenda is Mr. Philip Evans. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to adopt the resolution to assist the village of Atlanta by putting gravel on Bell Loop and Speaker Street and then Grayson. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? My last motion, I'm going to adopt a resolution to assist the village of Atlanta by grading Kennywell Street, Collier Street, Spikes Lane, and Carter Lane. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Thank you, Mr. Uh, Evans. Next thing on the agenda is the Village of Spikes Lane. Resolution <laughs> ordering and calling an election in the parish on Saturday, May 2nd, 2015, to authorize the levy of a sales and use tax. You need a motion on that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Question. 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 Is this just a half cent sale tax? And I would recommend all of us to. Um, no, it failed by, was it 50? 58 votes. 58 votes, then uh, we really, really need to stress on our constituents <laughs> how important this is for our roads. You ever want that road black car? we got to work, work, work. And it's like um, I said before, Jackson Parish has had this since 1995. So if you go to Jackson Parish and you buy anything, you're paying this tax from Jackson Parish to fix their roads. So we, we're going to try it again, and, and we're going to hope that our constituents see the real importance of this tax. It's not that, that any of us are going to know about a new tax or a, any tax for that matter, but this is a necessity that unless we have this tax, we just don't, we don't wonder where we're going to get a load of gravel. So um, we really need to stress that. So. Um, <coughs> On, on the roads only, that's all it's going to be designated for. And, you know, if, if people just understand that, we're going to use it only on the roads. And nobody's salary. Nobody's salary, nothing. So. And I would add for every, for every capital outlay project we miss is what because <coughs> now we don't have matching funds to break it. That's right. true. We're overpassed million dollars. We can't, we can't even get a capital outlay because we can't manage the fund. And it's only, like if you spend $100, it costs you 50 cents. Mm -hmm. It's 50 cents on every hundred. So, awesome. whoever is the next year or the year after that is going to be worse shape than we are now, money-wise, on our road department. And you all guys know, loggers especially, you get hammered every day because we need help. We don't have enough help to take care of it. Your companies have to pitch in, and it's just, that's just the way it's got to be, you know. That's, it's just serious. So we need to top that up and call people and see people, and each one of us jurors need to work hard to get our constituents to understand the importance. Do I need a motion? Yes, I need a motion on this. One. I got a motion and a second. Yes, all in favor of this motion and um, say aye. 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 And all opposed, like time.